As so many of you likely know, this will be the first New Year's without Dick Clark. Tonight they are preparing a tribute as we hear from Dick Clark's wife, who made the trip to Times Square to ring in another New Year. In Times Square in New York, you're invited to New Year's Rockin' Eve 74. Long before he became the face, the friend who would guide us into every New Year. Dick Clark had already made his way into living rooms across America. And now, here's the star of our show, Dick Clark. This one's called Rock Around the Clock. Bill Haley. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. He once said it was very simple. We played a record and the kids danced. And he made the way we danced okay for parents who still needed convincing. 1957 it all started, there would be 36 years of American Bandstand on ABC, those boomers getting their own stage. The twist, there was the hustle. There was Elvis, but Dick Clark made it all okay. After all, he'd warmed up America for rock and roll. From the very beginning, Dick Clark had enormous influence. At just 28 years old, this. You have a combined weekly audience of let's say 50 million Americans at least, and you receive 50,000 letters a week from your teenage fans. His simple introduction made careers. It also saved them. Frankie Avalon. He played a record of mine, Dee Dee Diner, and uh, that was on a Thursday, and on a Monday, I was on my way. Over the years, Clark barely seemed to age. He spoke of America's nickname for him. I have a terrible problem because people keep referring to me as America's oldest living teenager. His ageless look so often the punchline from so many other famous faces. I've been watching Dick Clark ever since I was a little kid. It was the 1970s when Dick Clark first started hosting on New Year's Eve. The program, just an hour and a half at the beginning, would expand to six hours over the years. It would become an American staple every New Year's. And only a stroke would slow Dick Clark down. My speech is not perfect, but I'm getting there. And this year, his wife of nearly 35 years, Carrie, will be in Times Square. She was the one who helped screw that crystal triangle with Dick Clark's name onto the giant ball. She spoke of the question so many people have asked her. 40 years I've been coming here, so this year it was, uh, people were saying, what are you going to do? And I thought, hmm, there's really, I don't know what else to do but to come to Times Square. Anyway, like he said, it's the place to be on New Year's Eve. The place to be, and the place where tonight an American legend will be remembered. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Great job. Thank you. We'll all be thinking of Dick Clark tonight as we say Happy New Year.